Walls can be really annoying sometimes and make you wish you could see over them or through them. Zond, you're not eating my cake, are you? No, no, no cake here, no. Good. Now, your skin can be a little bit like a wall. When you get a medical problem on the outside, it's easy to see it, treat it and watch it heal. But when you get medical mysteries going on inside the body, there's one hospital department you need to turn to for help, the radiology department, because they've got all kinds of cool kit that can actually see inside the body. A bit like this periscope lets me see over the wall. Bond! The new radiology department at Alderhey cost a whopping £7 million. This department x-rays 75,000 patients a year, and more than half of those have their snaps taken on this, a plain film x-ray machine. X-rays let doctors look at your bones. They're like a super powerful version of ordinary light, which can pass through your skin. When they meet bones, x-rays stop dead in their tracks and the perfect picture can be taken. It's not just bones that show up in an x-ray, though. I'm heading to another part of the radiology department to see a different type of x-ray machine. This one is used to study people who have problems swallowing. Nine-year-old Isabel is currently fed through a tube in her stomach as a result of having an operation. She's come to the radiology department today for a video fluoroscopy test to see if it's now safe for her to eat and drink normally. So I'm wearing this apron and it is very heavy because it's made of lead and that protects me from radiation. Radiation isn't dangerous for the patients, but if you get a little bit every day, that could be dangerous, so you wear a bit of protection. I'd have preferred a green one. We're going to give you some well yoghurt to eat, OK? Isabel's dad feeds her some special liquid which X-rays can't pass through, so it shows up black on the image. Can you see it? What's amazing about it is that you're making, if you like, an X-ray movie, so we can see the liquid going down her throat as a video, and that means we can make sure that it's safe for her to keep swallowing and that none of the food is going down the wrong way. So, Isabel's esophagus is working fine. The fluoroscopy has shown the doctors that it's safe for her to start eating again. Isn't that amazing? After a whole year of being fed through a tube. It's busy in the radiology department today. Down the corridor, nine-year-old Neve is having another sort of picture taken called an ultrasound for a mystery swelling in her foot. Here to do that is Dr. Musa Kalim. The way the ultrasound machine is working is it's using a probe which emits a very, very high frequency noise, such a high pitch that you can't hear it. And those sound waves bounce back differently depending on whether they hit bone or whether they hit muscle or different things. And it's listening for the echoes coming back and then putting those echoes into an image. This area which looks darker than the normal tissues around the bone. So bone is here. So there's something, possibly a splinter, irritating Neve's foot that will require further investigation. Have you given it a name? Jeff. That's a great name. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Zond. Without the amazing radiology department at Alderhey Hospital, the doctors and other experts would have to spend a lot more time guessing about diagnosing people's conditions. But these machines are so powerful, they can see deep inside your body. They could even see a piece of cake inside your stomach. Don't tell Dr Chris!